Understanding a software system just by looking at its source code can be very time-consuming. And communicating ideas about software design or business processes is even more challenging if there is no commonly accepted way to do it. The Unified Modeling Language, in short UML, was introduced to solve this problem. UML is not a textual programming language, but rather a graphical notation consisting of diagrams that let us model software systems. We can use these diagrams to describe the objects that form a system and their interactions. UML has many diagram types. We'll be discussing the most common ones. The use case diagram describes the functional model of a system. That is, the functionality of a system from the user's point of view. To describe the structure of a system, UML provides structural diagrams. We'll talk about the class diagram which can be used to describe the structure of a system in terms of objects, attributes, operations, and relations. UML lets us model dynamic behavior too. The behavioral diagrams describe the system's functionality focusing on what happens and the interactions between objects. We'll talk about the actual diagrams shortly. The best part about UML is that it's independent of any particular programming language. We can start coding an object-oriented software based on UML diagrams. If those diagrams are detailed enough, they can be converted to source code. Now, let's see some real-life examples using UML. Software developers often find themselves in situations where the solution to a specific problem is not trivial, or there are several different ways to tackle the problem. It may be tempting to open up your IDE and just start coding. The next thing you know, hours have disappeared and you are desperately searching Stack Overflow for the answer. However, it's hard to find a solution if we couldn't first formulate the question. We need to figure out what to implement before writing a single line of code. That's when UML comes in handy. Whenever something is unclear, we can quickly sketch a few diagrams to represent a specific part of a software or new functionality. The benefits of this approach are twofold. First, by thinking about classes, objects, and interactions, we gain a deeper understanding of what should be implemented without being distracted by crashing IDEs or strange compiler error messages. Secondly, a design helps us communicate our ideas with other developers effectively. We can use UML diagrams as a starting point for discussions and improvements, without having to delve into source code. Although checking the actual code is useful in many situations, it will often distract us from answering the real questions and turn the design discussion into a code inspection. Another frequent use of UML is drawing diagrams from existing code. This technique is called reverse engineering, and it helps uncover the dirty little secrets of undocumented software systems. We can use UML to create a detailed blueprint of a system. Detailed UML blueprints are usually required for software developed using a waterfall approach, and less frequently for agile projects. Although UML is excellent at modeling object-oriented systems, the fact that it's platform and programming language independent make it a versatile modeling tool that's not limited to software projects. UML has been used in multidisciplinary areas, including scientific research, transportation, banking, and defense. 